every customer should be offered to book book their next appointment. The number one reason why we lose customers is because they couldn't get an appointment when they wanted it. Do you want that to happen to you, that your customer can't get an appointment when it's convenient for them? So they go and they call their friend and ask them where they get their hair done and that's where they go for the ne their next service. The best way to ensure that that never happens is to book their next appointment when they're still there standing with you. It's our job to t tell the customer when they need to come back to maintain that look for weeks, six weeks, and then to secure the appointment and present it as a convenience. You know, I want to make sure that you get the time that's best for you. You know, I know that you're a busy person and if we book it now, we can make sure you get in in the evening, a weekend, or whatever is the best for you. Every customer should be asked about how their experience was that day. Was everything great for you? Is there anything that I could have done to serve you better? Great closing statement with the customer. And last but not least, what I would tell you is that with every customer I ever serviced behind the chair, I always had the same finish to the service that I did. And that was to tell Dawn, or my customer, that I know from time to time, maybe we didn't get something right. You know, maybe we didn't take enough off, or you go home and you think, you know, I wish it was a little bit brighter. I wish that, you know, it was a little bit more layered, a little bit more textured. I would always tell my customers, that what was the most important thing to me was that they were happy. And that if they left here and they got home, and it's different, we style their hair, we've got tools, we've got experience, we have everything that we need to make it look great. But the most important thing isn't the day they leave the salon, it's everything in between this visit and the next one that's gonna matter to Dawn. So when Dawn leaves here today, if she goes home in the next day or two and she styles her hair and she feels that she needs an adjustment, I would always tell my customer, if you feel that you need any adjustments whatsoever, I'm here for you. Your service doesn't end here, and I am more than happy to take care of you and do whatever we need to do to make sure that this is a great service for you. Do not ever hesitate to call. Call, ask for me directly, and I will make sure that we make this the best haircut that you've ever had or the best color that you've ever had. That left a lasting impression with every customer I ever had. In all the years that I did hair, I never had a complaint that ever escalated past me because my customers would call me and say, you know, Jocelyn, can I come see you? Because it's just not quite right on the left-hand side and I don't know why. Absolutely, come on in. I want to take a look at it. We'll play with it and we'll get it right. And I always did. And it made the biggest difference of my career. I built a big clientele and I felt great about what I was doing behind the chair. And I truly believe that I was not the most talented hairstylist in the business by far. I met many people that had more talent in their pinky finger than I had in my entire body. But what I did know how to do was take care of my customers, talk to my customers, figure out what they wanted, and deliver on it. And that was through an intensive consultation process and through a salon etiquette that just kept customers coming back. I hope you learned something today. I hope you can take this, incorporate it, and that it changes your career and it helps you build that volume and have the lifestyle that I know every hairstylist truly deserves. Thank you for your